The Treeing Walker Coonhound is a breed of medium-sized dogs native to America. These dogs are generally high on the list for people who want athletic but placid canine companions. Treeing Walker Coonhounds are also known as TWCs or simply walkers. These guys have been adored by hunters in America for their swift gait and rugged body that allow them to run through the forest under bush. They're also adored by families who love dogs that are equally as cuddly as they are intelligent and active. Treeing Walker Coonhounds are best known for their trailing skills and happy-go-lucky nature. Now without further ado, let's dive right into our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Treeing Walker Coonhounds. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original TWC owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check these adorable hounds from their Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History The Treeing Walker Coonhound was first developed during the colonial era in America by John Walker, a breeder, and his cousin, George Maupin. The two Kentuckians were enthusiastic about tracking dogs. The men used to breed American foxhounds with English coonhounds that were imported from England. These dogs were called Walker Hounds. However, a pivotal development of Walker Hounds came in the 1800s when the pair of breeders were given a dog of unknown origin named Tennessee Lead. Tennessee Lead was a male hound with a black and tan coat and exceptional speed. It is believed that Tennessee Lead was stolen by a traveler who had spotted the dog leading a pack that was tracking deer. Nonetheless, Walker and Maupin decided to breed him and they produced a treeing Walker Coonhound as a result. For a long time, Walkers were classified just as English Coonhounds. They were recognized as a separate breed by the United Kennel Club in 1945. Walkers were formally recognized by the American Kennel Club in 2012 within the hound group. Number 2. Their Name and Nickname The name Treeing Walker Coonhound can unpack quite a few facts about these dogs. Treeing stands for the TWC's hunting tactic of trailing their quarry and chasing it up a tree. They then stay guard below the tree, barking loudly so that the hunter can reach them with a gun and get the quarry. Walker stands for John Walker, the pioneer breeder of Treeing Walker Coonhounds. And Coonhound stands for the purpose these dogs were bred for, which is to trail raccoons or occasionally other game. Despite being Coonhounds, Walkers are prolific hunters of bigger games like foxes and deer too. These guys are the most popular Coonhounds in America among the six recognized Coonhound breeds, especially among hunters. Due to this, Treeing Walker Coonhounds have been lovingly nicknamed the People's Choice Dogs. Number 3. Their Appearance the walker looks like a large version of the beagle with similar colors and stature. These dogs have an athletic build with sturdy hind legs that propels them to run fast. They have expressive eyes and floppy ears which gives them a pleading expression. TWCs have a short but dense coat to prevent them from getting hurt by briars in the forest. These dogs have a tricolored coat which may either be predominantly white with black and tan markings or predominantly black with white and tan markings. Many treeing walkers have a black marking on their back. This pattern is called the blanket back or saddle back. Saddle back pattern is the signature look of this breed and it is highly prized by TW fanciers. Number 4. Their Temperament Treeing Walker Coonhounds are extremely smart and social dogs. They have a competitive attitude while on hunts, but they can switch right back to being goofy at home. These dogs are very gentle and they rarely show aggression towards their family members unless prompted to. Walkers are a sensitive breed, so they don't respond to being treated harshly. This general behavior around new people can range from being courteous to jumping on them depending on the dog. TWCs are active dogs, so you gotta provide them with plenty of vigorous physical exercise along with mental stimulation. Number 5. They're not the easiest to train. Athletic and intelligent dogs are not easy to train and that includes the Treeing Walker Coonhound as well. With their history in hunting, it is no surprise that walkers are independent dogs. However, these dogs are huge people pleasers so they can be very good students of an experienced trainer or dog owner. Their training sessions ought to be short and interesting with a lot of praises and rewards. If you are deciding on training your walker by yourself, you gotta remember that they are prone to getting easily distracted by various scents. You must keep in mind that despite training your TWC pup, they will still retain their instincts to climb fences and bark loud. Number 6. They don't have the best recall. Like all scent hounds, treeing walker coonhounds do not have the best recall, which means they are unlikely to quickly run to you when called. These dogs were bred to follow scents, due to which they are predisposed to just do that. 
These dogs have an extremely sensitive sense of smell, so they could be listening to you attentively one minute and running off to a new scent they detected the other. And when you try calling them during their smelling journeys, they likely won't respond to you. In this case, yelling their name could be counterproductive as your walker may start to think that their recall is irrelevant. This is known as learned irrelevance. However, this should not be a deal breaker for anyone looking to get a TWC because with consistent training, treats, and different commands, walkers can be trained to recall reliably. Some walkers may even respond to you without intensive training required. Number 7. They retain their hunting instincts. Training walker coonhounds retain their hunting instincts and do not hesitate acting them out either. These dogs are prone to excessive barking as a result of their training trait. They have a loud, boggle-like bark, which your neighbors may not be happy about. Walkers are also likely to trail off whatever they task they are doing to pursue a scent they find interesting. As such, it is wise to keep them on a leash when you take them out, especially in areas with rodents. If you plan on letting your walker loose, make sure that the area is fenced to lessen the chances of taking them off far after some scent. Number 8. They are amazing family dogs. Walkers are very family-oriented dogs. They love cuddling and being showered with ample attention. It is wise not to leave your TWC alone for long periods as they are highly prone to separation anxiety. Treeing walker coonhounds are quite gentle and tolerant towards kids as well. That being said, any interaction between TWCs and children must be supervised. Younger kids are likely to pull at the long ears of walkers which can trigger a bad response from them. These dogs get along just fine with other dogs and generally with cats as well. However, smaller pets like hamsters can trigger their prey drive. Number 9. Their Grooming The TWC has a smooth and easy care coat that requires weekly brushing. Like all scent hounds, walkers can have a musky scent. This can be kept at bay with frequent bathing. You must take your time to clean your walker's ear because pendulous ears usually mean more chances of ear infection. Other than that, make sure to brush their teeth every other day and trim their nails regularly. Number 10. Their Health Conditions Treeing walker coon hounds are generally hardy dogs, but a few health problems that they may be prone to include hip dysplasia, ear infections, and fungal infections among others. If your walker is an active hunting dog, they may be prone to hunting injuries and coon hound paralysis, which is caused by the bite of raccoons. Remember to take your walker to the vet for regular health checkups. And as always, get your pup from a certified breeder who can provide a reliable health background on the pup, or even better, look for options on adopting from a shelter. And with that, we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Treeing Walker Coon Hound. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already have any experience living with one of these affectionate hunters, don't forget to share it below in the comments. Please leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts and in different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.